Hey everyone, thank you for watching and welcome to the first Will I Buy It? new makeup releases of 2021. Oh, there's always so many firsts when it comes to a new year. It just always feels exciting. Today, I'm gonna chat with you over all of the new makeup releases and let me tell you, we have some things to talk about. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, I am so excited to be kicking off the series once again in 2021. I believe I started this back in 2016. Spring of 2016 was my first Will I Buy It video that I posted, and it's just been one of the most loved series that I do on my channel. So thank you so much for coming back every single week and chatting over the new makeup releases with me. I'll link my playlist down below. I'll link the community playlist down below. i am also tried curling my hair a new way, and I am not quite sure what I think yet, but this is how it ended up, and I've co it so many times and it just came springing back up and I'm like we all know that I'm on a hair journey in 2021 and I just appreciate you being so supportive of that hair journey thank you I did also do a little bit of filming for this look here on my Instagram I'm using some new products from persona cosmetics also the new buxom highlighter so if you want to check that out that will be coming to March Beauty Word but let's hop into the makeup releases I'm gonna link the Instagram accounts that I am reading from down below and the last, what, like three or four weeks of this series, it was kind of like, doo -doo -doo, doo -doo -doo. it was a little bit slow. We didn't have a lot going on, which is okay because more times than not, we have a lot going on in these videos. So it was a little bit slower towards the end of the year, but wow, this first one, we are coming back with a vengeance. And let's start off with the product that I was getting the most amount of tags on. Let's all put our guesses in the comments. Yes, it was ColourPop to come out with the Love Struck 5 Pan Palette Collection. This is how I feel about that. This is how I feel about that. You know, I'm excited. The tags, the amount of times I saw people say like, this was made for you, Samantha. I was like, why was this not in collaboration with me? I felt like I would have had a really good time on these palettes. Colourpop, that's fine. Five new bite-sized palettes, $10 each includes Crush, which is a warm, co cozy copper. Say that five times fast. Cherish with romantic cranberry tones. Ballad is a smoky, cool toned gunmetal. Lyric, we have soft bronzy neutrals. And Amour, we have metallic rosy shades. Will be available January 7th on the ColourPop website. Yeah. Yeah, I'm interested in this. I do get some PR from ColourPop. I seem to get quite a bit in 2020. I don't know if that will continue in 2021. I haven't received them at this moment. I'm actually filming this on Tuesday. Usually I film these videos on Monday. I've been doing some rearranging of my schedule and now Tuesdays are a filming day. And sometimes that might help me with this Will I Buy It series to film one day later and I can cover in some newer releases. Uh, so as of Tuesday, I have not received this collection yet. If I don't receive it, I'll probably just pick up all five of the palettes so I can review them. Uh, I have a full ColourPop ranking video from 2020. If you missed it, I review all of the collections and rank them from my least favorite to my top favorite. I did also do that with my eyeshadow palettes recently. I have about 75 eyeshadow palettes that I'm ranking in that video. That one just went up recently also. So I'm definitely interested. I feel like all of them I would like, like there's really no color story in here that I'm like, I don't know, that one's not really for me. Like, I don't know how I would pick one. Amor, of course, looks beautiful. Ballad really calls to me. Lyric, I mean, those are probably my top three if I had to pick, but I'll probably just grab all five of these if they're not coming my way. What do you think about this? I'm, I've, I love these smaller palettes. I like the Natasha Denona. I like the Bite Size palettes from e.l.f. Cosmetics. This, I'm on board with. Speaking of e.l.f. Cosmetics, also got so many tags on their mint collection, the Mint Melt Collection from e.l.f. Cosmetics. Mint Melt No Budge Eyeshadow Stick for $5. There's also the Mint Melt Minty Fresh Cooling Cleanser for $8. A Mint Melt Cleansing Cloud for $4, which is a makeup remover pad. The Mint Melt Whipped Face Mask for $8. There's a primer for $8. The Mint Melt Eyeshadows, they're, these are $4 each. These are the bite sized palettes in Mint to Be and Chocolate Mint. There's also a gloss for $4 and a blush no, a brush trio, not blush, a brush trio for $8, which is a three-piece set. These are available now. <sighs> There's some fun releases coming out. I have already made some makeup purchases in 2021, so get prepared. There's going to be either a haul or a trying new makeup video coming up for me soon. And this is one where I feel like I kind of want to grab some of these too. It's like, do I just get both eyeshadows? Because these are $4 each. I think the the bite-sized palettes, those are usually only $3, but these are $4. 
so that's interesting. I was like, do I just get it because they're $4 a piece? I did get some of those uh, shadow sticks from uh, e.l.f. Cosmetics recently. I did a video trying their Camo CC Cream and their new concealer. And I do have their uh, shadow sticks in there along with the new mascara. So if you'd want to check that out, I can put that up in the cards. I really like the looks of their little uh, brush trio. They're all eye brushes. I mean, I would totally use those. The skincare, I'm not so... So much on board with elf skincare is a little bit hit or miss for me but the eyeshadow palettes and the brushes I'm like kind of thinking about putting those in my cart I'm gonna be on track to surpass my 75 palette ranking video at the beginning of 2022 we have some new releases coming from BH cosmetics and I tried BH cosmetics recently once again because for the past couple of years BH really hasn't turned my attention I used to love them I used to have so much from them and then I just found other brands that I thought were better quality well I posted a get ready with me on Christmas Day and I was trying the chillin in Chicago palette from BH and I was really impressed with it I've been hearing really high praises for it and they actually have a few new releases and this one I'm curious about because it's giving me a little bit of the BH Zodiac palette flashbacks. Do we remember that? But we have the Birthstone collection. So every month there will be a new palette dropping from BH. The Garnet palette for January has dropped. So you have a mix of fiery glitters and staple shades in matte and shimmer finishes. And these are going to be $9 each. Okay, so it looks like you have six shadows and then maybe a blush. Or you can just use that as a shadow, whichever you prefer. This is going to be interesting. I'm I'm going to be very curious to see what these look like. So we can see some coming soon. And obviously it's by your birthstone. So me for March, my birthday is in March. It is aquamarine, which is my birthstone. I love it. I think it's a beautiful color. So I'm going to be curious about that though. Because I don't lean a lot towards blues. But if it's like in a certain type of color scheme, maybe I would be interested in it. Or maybe like um, June is pearl. And I love pearl. So like maybe that would be a fun one. I don't know. Amethyst is February. I really Really like purples we'll have to see this one for me doesn't do it for me um the the colors in here aren't aren't necessarily me but i'm i'm hopeful i'm gonna keep my fingers crossed that we got some good ones they're also coming out with some new products in their travel series let's see bh is taking us to new destinations that's nice. We have the Lost in Los Angeles eyeshadow palette with 16 shades for $17 a prey and aspen I can never just like say that word. I have to say it in a full, you know what I'm saying though. Face palette, six highlighters with iridescent finishes at $17. We have the travel series, a seven piece, a face and eye brush set for $20 with a bag. This is going to be available now and also available at Ulta. So this one really didn't get to me as much. I saw like a sneak peek that they were coming out with something in their travel series and I got excited just because I feel like they're really on my radar right now. And I was like, if it's something that I just love, like I'm going to grab it. But the face palette is really that's a no for me I'm probably never going to be reaching into that and then the eyeshadow palette just once again not the colors that I'm really going for so I'm gonna hold off and see what their birthstone collection keeps looking like each month we have a new collection dropping from rare beauty okay a little bit nervous but let me show you this, this was just posted so I don't really have a whole lot of thoughts going on in my mind yet because this just got posted an hour ago so Let's see here. We have from Rare Beauty, which is Selena Gomez's brand, if you are not aware, the Stay Vulnerable Collection. We have the Melting Cream Blush for $21. A liquid-like cream blush melts into a second skin for the most natural-looking wash of soft focus color. We have their Glossy Lip Balm for $18. It's supposed to be hydrating, non-sticky, and long-lasting. We have the Stay Vulnerable Liquid Eyeshadow for $20. Weightless Liquid Powder Eyeshadow blends seamlessly, waterproof, crease-proof, Stay Vulnerable All Over Eyeshadow Brush for $15. This is going to be available on January 7th and at Sephora. Okay, I don't mind the looks of this. I've said before that Rare Beauty is one of those. If I just even say that I don't like a product because it's not something that I enjoy for my makeup preferences, people act like I'm trying to cancel Selena Gomez and I'm like, what? It's makeup. Like, what? I'm not gonna like every single product out there and some products just don't work for like they're not like like what I've said about rare beauty I don't think any of the products I tried are bad products they're just not my personal preference and it's like okay but I'll keep watching what else comes out from the brain because maybe there'll be something I'm interested in tell me why I'm interested in the blush mmm who am I you know what I was thinking the other day this is so embarrassing can't believe I'm gonna admit this on camera I was thinking that I wanted to take a bath what 
I can't believe I said that out loud. I didn't even tell Mitch that. I didn't even tell Mitch that I was having thoughts of wanting to take a bath. I never take baths. I cannot remember the last time I took a bath. Just like a bath to like relax and just like sit. I don't even know what that means. That just doesn't happen. I, I truly cannot tell you the last time I took a bath. I take showers. So that's what I do. And in the other night, I was like, kind of want to have the self-care night. And I was like, wow, I could take a bath. And then I was like, first of all, my bathtub is disgusting. I just would never do, like, how do people take baths? Like, do you clean your bath every day? I don't understand how you do this. So that really knocked it out for me. And then I was like, and then you're just supposed to sit there. I didn't do it, but I thought about it. I am changing. I don't know what 2021 has in store for me, but I can see some big changes coming up because things are getting weird over here, y'all. I don't even know who I am right now. Look at my hair. Who am I? I feel like I'm back in my pageant days. The lip balm. I mean, I don't know. I feel like I'm most interested in the blush. The liquid eyeshadow, I don't really reach for those as much. I'd grab a blush. I didn't really love the blush that I tried from the first launch. I did try the matte blush and pretty much everybody told me that they prefer the dewy blush. And then I just was like, didn't really know if I wanted to buy another one, but I would try this out and see what I think. A lot of people have been talking about this collection from MAC. They have a few new releases too. It's so funny. I just got done watching Mel Thompson's Purchaser Pass video that she does. <laughs> and I like, I know how much Mel enjoys MAC. She was like, she wasn't roasting them by any means. She's much too nice, but she was kind of like, I'm not interested in any of this. And I'm like, I'm feeling you, girl. I haven't been that interested in MAC for a long time, actually. Um, so they're coming out with this collaboration with The Sims, and a lot of people are very angry about this. Now, I personally am not super familiar with The Sims. I don't, I've never played. I, I, I know what it is, but I've never done anything with it. So I don't have like strong feelings, but I will say that from the outer packaging with that blue box and then to what you see inside, that doesn't make any sense. And from what I understand about Sims, the limited knowledge that I have, the inside of this palette doesn't make any sense. Is the inside of the palette, do I find it to be really pretty? Yeah. Yes, I do. But it just, it doesn't make sense to this collaboration. I'm very confused who passed this, who put their approved stamp on this. I'm just, what do you think? Or is it, am I missing something? But again, from what I've seen online and from the people who do play Sims and love it, no one's very impressed. But it is supposed to be a limited edition palette and it is going to be a $32. I will be passing on that. Um, they are also coming out with some new products in their Powder Kiss collection. So we have nine new Powder Kiss lipsticks, also single shadows and a lip colors. This is supposed to be coming in January. It's available now in Asia. I actually didn't love the Powder Kiss lipsticks from MAC. I definitely don't mind MAC lipsticks. I prefer their matte finish, definitely. Um, but I tried their Powder Kiss. This was back when I was still on their PR list. And I tried a bunch of them and it just wasn't a favorite formula of mine. I know a lot of people really enjoy them, but for me and my preferences wasn't for me. So I'm going to be passing over this too. See some new releases from Christian Dior. All right. Available at Selfridge. Their spring 2021 collection is going to be limited edition. We have some glow eyeshadow palettes. We have some stick glow blush, lip glow, lip oil, the addict lip maximizer, lip gloss, and uh, some nail polish. So coming soon. Things pretty on this but nothing that really catches my attention and I feel like I absolutely have to have it so I'm going to be passing over that one and uh speaking of very 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 pricey products this one is a brush <clears throat> this is available at Beautylish celebrating the lunar new year the I'm going to pronounce this incorrectly Akabiko powder brush Probably not even close uh, Okay, it has a paragraph of how amazing this brush is which is fantastic. Love that love copywriting Excellent. It's a limited edition brush. It's gonna retail for a hundred and thirty five dollars So I'm gonna pass it's just one brush for a hundred and thirty five dollars like I've talked about brush sets in the past for retailing for like a hundred or over a hundred dollars and I've been like that's too much for me this is just one brush I know but like I already saw some of the comments people are saying like they're so amazing and just like so beautiful and that's amazing for you 
but that's just going to be too much money for me. So I'm going to pass on that one. Speaking of Lunar New Year, there is a set from Fenty Beauty. This is available at Harvey Nichols. We have the New Year Glow Lip and Luminizer set from Fenty. It's $41. You get one of their gloss bombs in a bright red orange shade and also a diamond bomb. Not super interested in that one. I have three of the Fenty gloss bombs, including one that I decluttered and then I got it in a set and I didn't even realize it. I uh, just uploaded my lip gloss declutter that went up recently and uh, yeah didn't realize that I decluttered the original Fenty gloss bomb and then I got it again in a set it wasn't like I just purchased the gloss bomb because that would have been really silly and then it's the same shade and then people start commenting that and I was like no wonder I haven't really been reaching for that gloss I just don't like the shade on me so there's that Sometimes when you try as much makeup as I do, it's really hard to keep everything together, okay? I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry, okay? Let's just move on. From Pat McGrath, we have the Crimson Couture Lip Kit, $50 to $55. The, we have the Ultra Lip Pencil in Bloodlust and the Matte Trans Lipstick in a new shade. This is Elson 3, a warm ruby, a warm ruby red. Get it together, Samantha. Will be available January 8th on the website. First of all, before I say anything, it is really cool. Let me just read you, if you haven't seen yet, Pat McGrath posted this on her Instagram. She said, I am beyond humbled that I've been awarded a damehood in the Queen's New Year 2021 honors list as a DBE, Dame of the British Empire for services to the fashion and beauty industry and diversity. The next girls night that I have with my friends, Pat, Charlotte, Natasha, we are going to be celebrating Pat's damehood because this is the coolest thing and I am now friends with a dame. Okay. I feel like I just got some like extra cool points. And if you're new here, that's just a joke. I'm not actually friends with them, but I'm manifesting into the world. Okay. For the lip kit, I remember this was being teased. It was like Pat McGrath is coming out with something new and I was so excited. I was like, what is it? So to see a lip kit, I was like, okay, not, I'm not like all that thrilled and it's red shades. I really don't wear red quite as much. So I'm going to be passing over these, but I do like her lip liners. The lipsticks, I just, I feel like are okay. I do see a new release from Hourglass. This is a part of their ambient lighting family. This is the ambient lighting palette volume two. This is going to be for $64. Okay. I do have some thoughts because especially with pairing this photo with the model um, being darker skinned and then holding up the palette next to her. I feel like this was supposed to be like in response to people really um, questioning Hourglass right now and their shade selection and their inclusivity. And I feel like, to, to be honest to me, I feel like they really missed the mark here. These, from what I understand, from what I have read, um, these are all three like already existing shades to the Hourglass line. I know that they have been called out recently by a lot of people in the beauty community and wanting to see a change. The response from them, I haven't seen them wanting to make a change. So when they came out with this and I saw the first photo, I was like, thank you. Like, thank you for, for wanting to make a change and wanting to go a step in the right direction. But then when I actually read about the palette and the shades that were inside and their three already existing shades, to me it doesn't seem like this is really gonna complement a lot of people with especially a very darker skin tone. And to me, this just feels like a very sloppy way of being like, we're trying to put a band-aid on something. And I'm very unimpressed with that. When I first started getting more into high-end makeup, I really didn't enjoy Hourglass. If you remember from years back, I would try so much Hourglass and I just didn't love it. I was like, I don't see the hype. What is going on? Throughout the past year, year and a half or so, I've been really starting to enjoy more of their products. I started to understand their ambient lighting finishing powders, and I've been very impressed with some of their recent releases. I really enjoy their new mascara that they put out that I bought a couple months ago, but especially to see a response like this to a problem that so many people are saying, Hourglass, you need to fix this. Like, come on, like, we're rooting for you. I'm someone who, like, I'm always going to be rooting for people to do better and make a change. I, I don't want to, like, hold grudges or be angry forever. That's not how I want to live my life. So when I was seeing this about Hourglass, I was like, they're going to make a change. I know they are. They, like, why wouldn't you want to? That's what I don't understand is like, why wouldn't you want to? So to have this be their response feels very sloppy, feels very lazy, and truly feels like they don't care about making a change for the better. Maybe one of those things where like, I'm not gonna throw away the products that I have, not what I'm planning to do, because I've already bought them, I can use products up. But definitely very disappointed in their response, and um, 
pretty let down move over to some drugstore releases so i see milani has a new palette out we have the gilded terra eyeshadow palette for 19.99 15 different shades there's also a facial mist a hydrating eye cream and their nor no pore zone mattifying face primer the palette is cute i like that it has some of these greens in there it also has some pinks honestly it's just a little bit bigger for me i feel like if it was a little bit smaller and maybe leaned more towards that green side or more towards the pink and purple side, I might be a little bit more interested in it. I don't mind Milani eyeshadows, but they're not a favorite of mine. And some of their face products, I'm just kind of like mm, hit or miss. Um, for Wet n Wild, I talked a lot about them in last week's video with their tinted hydrator, with their new eyeshadow palettes, but they are also coming out with their Mega Last Incognito All Day Full Coverage Concealer. It's only $4.99. They also have some different primers that are coming out. Uh, I think that's everything that I didn't touch on last week. So kind of the main consensus that I was getting was to skip over the tinted hydrator, shade selection not so good. That's what I was saying in my video and a lot of your comments, um, you know, just solidify that. There's so many other brands and so many other products that I can choose from that the majority of my audience watching it can find something if they really like it they can actually find it in their shades so i'm going to be passing over testing that one out um and a lot of you were saying that their eyeshadow palettes the reviews have not been very pleasant i don't usually like wet and wild eyeshadows so just planning to skip on everything for now nothing really jumps out at me from the ordinary <laughs> i always this is another one that i always get scared to talk about the ordinary <laughs> but we have uh the ordinary color concealer so they have a foundation now they're coming out with a concealer it says buildable high coverage with a real skin finish natural matte easy to blend there's going to be 36 shades and it is only five dollars and 80 cents each will be available january 19th okay so i haven't tried the foundation i really don't love the ordinary skincare i've talked about this on my channel it's just not a favorite of mine i feel like every product that i've tried and i've tried quite a few my skin just does not get on with them so um i've never tried their foundation hasn't really been something that's popped out at me their concealer I don't know. I feel like I can probably still pass unless I'm hearing like a lot of really excellent things. I see a new eyeshadow palette coming from Melt Cosmetics. This is from the, in the Blueprint collection. No, it is the Blueprint collection. Okay. By Melt Cosmetics. We have the Blueprint eyeshadow palette. It has eight favorite crafted blue and bronze tone shadows from the stack. Then we have two gel liners, a deep blue ultra matte and reflect finishes will be coming soon to the website. So I'm going to be passing over this. Blue is not my favorite color to wear. Again, if you watched my ranking palette video, I have like a little blue quad that comes in towards the bottom, not because it's a bad palette, but because I just don't reach for these shadows a lot. And I just, I wouldn't really be doing much with this one. So I'm going to be passing on that. Now from Charlotte Tilbury, she has some new products coming out for the Lunar New Year. These are limited edition. So we have her magic cream, some kissing lipsticks, and these are all um, in like the Lunar New Year packaging. So I wouldn't need any of this for myself. I have the magic cream. I have some of these lipsticks. So it's just kind of like the different package, which I get it. I see other brands doing this too, but I don't need anything. Um, I actually do have some new products on from Charlotte. I have a Instagram tutorial that will be going up. I just got um, the flawless filter, the Hollywood flawless filter. I'm wearing it today under my foundation. I also finally am trying out her pillow talk quad. I've never tried the Charlotte Tilbury like original pillow talk quad. Finally have it on my eyes today. Just really wanted to do that. Um, but I got some new products from her other collection, like some other quads. If you would wanna see a video on that, uh, let me know. I wasn't sure if you'd want to see like a dedicated video, like a look with each of the eye quads and trying out the flawless filter. And she does have some new hyaluronic lipsticks that are out. So again, I'll have an Instagram tutorial, but if you'd want to see a YouTube video, please just let me know. That would be really helpful. And then from Anastasia Beverly Hills, we have some new products, the Brow Freeze for $23. Lift tame and sculpt hairs in place without a stiff feel. We have the highlighter in Iced Out for $34, supposed to give you a wet effect shine. A diamond gloss for $20, a crystal gloss for $20. Uh, these are going to be available January 11th. First of all, like product, how it looks, beautiful. Everything looks really beautiful. I really like the looks of this collection, the product photos really did turn my attention i wouldn't have guessed it was anastasia quite honest like quite honestly um but i think it looks beautiful i don't really use products like this in my brows though i don't use brow gels i don't use like a brow wax or anything maybe i should <laughs> maybe this will be the year i want to i don't know for the highlighter i have a feeling that i would not like that it says you can use it on face eyes 
body dry or wet i just have a feeling that's not going to be something i enjoy and then the glosses probably don't need them i don't mind the anastasia glosses but again everything looks beautiful and really caught my eye but once i actually looked and thought about it i can probably talk myself out of these moving over to some skincare this really got me excited the next trend mood box is going to be a takeover with good molecules i love good molecules there is so much from the brand that i really enjoy so i really took a look at this box so again trend mood this is who i'm reading off of she offers these boxes they come out every so often i don't know if there's an exact schedule that she has it's not a subscription you just purchase them individually as they come out they have different prices on them sometimes they're just filled with a different uh, variety of products sometimes they are specific brand takeovers and you would want to put your address in on their website your email address on their website so you can alert it get alerted when the box goes for sale because they do sell out but this one the trend mood box times molecule but this one is $32. We have the Yerba Mate Wake Up Eye Gel, which I talked about last week. They're niacinamide brightening toner. I really want to try this one. That's like one product I haven't tried from them. Their, discol their Discoloration Correcting Serum. This one I have and I'm almost out of. I've been very impressed with it. I really like that product. Their Hyaluronic Acid Serum. Their Silicone Free Priming Moisturizer. Their Hydrate and Cleanse Bar. And their Pineapple Exfoliating Powder. This is going to be available on January 7th. So again, I will put the Trend Mood Box um, website down below to put in your address. Okay. I feel like I don't need it. I do have the Moisturizer, the Cleanse Bar, and the Pineapple Exfoliating Powder. The Hyaluronic Acid Serum, I, I don't use as much. So it would really just be the eye gel and the toner and I could probably just buy those separately. And I do want to replace my squalene oil from them. So I probably don't need the box, but if you've been wanting to try good molecules, this would be a good one. All right, also from Huda Beauty, her skincare line, which is called Wishful Skin, we have the new Thirst Trap Juice. Super potent ingredients from the Thirst Trap Cocoon Mask have been boosted with three types of hyaluronic acid and firming peptides to hydrate and strengthen the skin. This is going to be $47. Okay. Um, I do get some PR from Wishful Skin, so if this comes in, I, I could give it a try. I have to probably take a little bit closer look at the ingredients to make sure it's something that I would really want to put onto my skin, but sounds nice, sounds very hydrating and good for dry skin, which right now I bought a humidifier that was kind of expensive for the bedroom and it doesn't work. <laughs> And I'm a little bit salty about that because there's actually nowhere in this town where you can just go buy another humidifier, so... I'm a little bit angry and I can tell my skin is a little bit angry and even Mitch's skin is getting a little bit angry so I need my skincare to do extra work while we try to replace a brand new humidifier. All right, JLo Beauty has officially, officially launched. Congratulations JLo for officially launching JLo Beauty. We can see all the products now. We have a glow serum for $79. We have a highlighting complexion booster $39. The Wonder Night Cream with Hyaluronic Acid $58. We have some different sheet masks for $18. An eye cream with peptides for $48. We have an SPF 30 for $54. A gel cream cleanser for $38. And the JLo Glow 4 piece kit for $64. This is a Sephora kit. Will be available January 14th online and at Sephora. Everything looks really beautiful. Love the rose gold packaging. It just, to me, screams very much J-Lo, who I adore. Like, I, one of, like, my dreams was to be able to watch her perform, like, in Vegas or something. And who knows if that will ever happen. <laughs> but everything looks great. I try not to change up my skincare all of that often. So I'm probably going to wait to see some reviews on this one and see what other people are thinking. And also, pretty funny, but it was either last week or the week before... I talked about Carmen Electra coming out with their own skincare brand and they actually sent it to me. College Samantha, who was doing Carmen Electra's like striptease workout DVDs, really got a hoot out of that. So thank you so much to, I believe it's Go Go Skincare. That was hilarious. I awesome. wanted um, to talk about, this is from Dr. Zenova. This is for uh, hormonal dermatology, their clear complexion and acne solutions system. So it's a three step system. We have for $35, you get a 10% benzoyl peroxide acne cleanser, 5% benzoyl peroxide acne spot treatment, and the aloe vera blemish soothing moisturizer. So this is also available at Sephora. I've had a lot of people recommend this brand to me because I think they really do focus on acne or hormonal acne. I do have a lot of these products though. I have the benzoyl peroxide cleanser from CeraVe and I also have the benzoyl peroxide spot treatment from La Roche-Posay and it really does help. If you do struggle with acne, whether it be hormonal acne or um, even like teenage acne, 
anything like that benzoyl peroxide really does a great job of kind of like drying everything up but it can be a little bit tricky to use because the first time i used it i definitely went way too overboard and i had like a completely dry and flaky chin and that was not fun either so i'm still kind of like getting the hang of using something like benzoyl peroxide which is you know very much an active ingredient so i'm still getting used to it myself so i don't think i would need this line because i do have those products already but it's also available at Sephora, which is great. So I wanted to mention that. After that, that is going to wrap it up for this week's Will I Buy It video. I feel like this was longer in, than it has been in recent weeks, and there's been a lot of exciting stuff. Again, I've already made some hauls, some purchases in 2021, so get ready to see some new makeup coming up here on my channel. If there's anything else that you want to see from me throughout this year, please do let me know in the comments. That's always so helpful. Other than that, if you enjoyed this one, please make sure to give it a thumbs up. I hope you also consider subscribing before you go, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.